The UTPA men's and women's basketball seasons are underway. We take you to all the action. With the fall all but over, we preview the WAC tournament for the UTPA volleyball team, and our student athletes take to the phones to say thank you for your support. This is Bronx Country. Hey everyone and welcome to Bronx Country. I'm Jonah Goldberg. Plenty going on in Bronx Country this past week, from men's and women's basketball to volleyball to the cross country team at the NCAA Regionals. We'll get to all that. But the early signing period just came to a close, so let's take a look at some of the incoming student athletes. We start with UTPA baseball, which welcomes a pair of freshmen in shortstop Anthony Gomez and right-hander Pablo Ortiz. You know what, this year, Jonah, we're bringing in a small class. Uh, we're only going to bring in about four players. Um, we signed two players early, um, which are Anthony Gomez and Pablo Ortiz. Um, and then we're going to save the other two or, uh, uh, for the spring to see what, uh, what is out there. Uh, but we got uh, two uh, great freshmen coming in, and we're excited to have them. Let's take a closer look at the signees, starting with Anthony Gomez, who comes to the Bronx from Pembroke Pines Charter High School in Florida, where he has been a two-year starter on the varsity team. As a junior last season, Gomez hit 300 with four doubles, 13 RBI, and 12 runs scored, while walking nine times and striking out just six times. He led the team to the district championship with a 19-5 record, advancing to the regional finals. For his efforts, Gomez earned the Coaches Award and third team All-County honors. Gomez has excelled in the classroom as well, earning academic silver honors every year. Anthony is a tremendous uh, gifted uh, defensive player, Jonah. Uh, he can play Division One baseball defensively right now. Um, he has uh, good bloodlines. Um, his dad uh, plays some minor league ball, taught him how to play the game. Um, and Tony possesses that, uh, that HWA that, that we're always looking for in players, that how to win awareness. He's at the right place at the right time. Uh, always seems to be where he needs to be. Um, so defensively, he can come in and, uh, and play right now. As uh, he gets a little bit older, he gets a little bit stronger, uh, he's going to be able to drive some balls. Uh, offensively, he's a contact hitter. He sprays the ball around, very rarely strikes out, um, so that's a plus. Um, so he's going he's gonna to come in and, and compete for playing time right away. Pablo Ortiz joins the Bronx from Alexander High School in Laredo, where he earned first team all district honors as a junior by going 8-2 with a 2.04 ERA. 13 games, 12 starts, 55 innings, Ortiz allowed just 42 hits and 24 walks while striking out 49. The previous year, Ortiz was the second team honoree, going 4-0 with a 2-10 ERA. In 30 innings, he allowed just 19 hits and 15 walks while striking out 38. Pablo is, uh, is local, uh, you know, he's from Laredo. Um, Coach uh, Lopez has seen him since his junior year. Uh, last year, and, and we liked uh, what we saw. He uh, tremendous competitor. Um, the mindset of a bulldog. He's tough-minded. Um, he competes. Uh, fastball right now is about 86 to about 88, uh, with good secondary uh, pitches. Um, and we feel he's another good one that he can come in right now and give give us some innings and eventually become a wax starter for us. UTPA volleyball also welcoming a pair of early signees in 5'10 outside hitter Alexandra Ecker and 6'1 outside hitter Valicia Watkins. I'm really excited to get these three signed, sealed, and, and delivered. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a mature class. It's a class that you know was really excited about being here. Um, you know, it's an athletic class uh, with a lot of versatility to it. So it gives us a lot of options going forward. It you know solidifies our, our back line. Uh, so that, you know, too many positives to even you know talk about all of them. Alexandra Ecker joins the Bronx from O'Connor High School in Elotes just outside San Antonio, and Alamo Volleyball Club. As a senior, Ecker averaged three and a half kills on 419 hitting to go with .8 blocks while leading her team to the area round of the state tournament. During the season, Ecker earned all tournament team honors at the Smithson Valley and Fraulein tournaments. A three-year letter winner, Ecker earned all district first team honors as a junior and second team honors as a sophomore. Ecker is also a multi-sport athlete 
qualifying for regionals in the 4x400-meter relay as a sophomore and a junior. Off the court, Ecker is currently in the top 5% of her graduating class. You know, Eck's going to be one of those kids, you know, that uh, she's playing middle right now for high school, uh, had made the transition during the last club season to the outside, uh, even a little bit of right side. She'll come in and, and be on one of the pins for us, uh, left side, right side. Uh, and, you know, when we get to Belisha as well, you know, that'll kind of, those two have, have the versatility to, to play both. So, you know, we'll, we'll be solid at the pins there. Uh, a mature girl, smart girl, uh, you know, brings a lot to this team. You know, coming out of San Antonio, uh, you know, not far away, so family can get here as well. You know, it'll give a good draw. Uh, coming out of Alamo Club, um, you know, Alamo Volleyball Club, it was, you know, a club that we wanted to get back into recruiting-wise and things. So, you know, lots and lots of positives. Uh, really excited for, for Eck to get down here. She was the first one in this class to decide that she wanted to be here, and, you know, can't say enough about that. Felicia Watkins joined the Bronx from Beachwood High School in Ohio where she averaged three kills on 357 hitting to go with over two and a half digs per set. For her efforts in a school record 15 and five season, Watkins earned team MVP, first team all conference, and first team all district honors. She even took part in the district senior all-star game last week. Watkins also earned three player of the week awards this season. Last season, Watkins was a first team all conference and first team all district selection she also won the Beachwood Offense Award as a freshman. Watkins has played club volleyball for CVC Cleveland Volleyball Company the last two years and the Maverick Volleyball Club the year before that. Watkins comes from a strong volleyball background as her mother, Angela, played volleyball at Cuyahoga Community College and her older sister, Kiara, played at Bluefield State where she holds the program records in kills, digs, and hitting percentage. Additionally, Watkins' younger sister, Alanda, recently completed her freshman season on the varsity team at Beachwood. Valicia, it's, uh, you know, again, someone who wanted to be here. Um, stumbled across her out in, in Las Vegas a couple years ago and, you know, just kind of went from there. But, uh, you know, she came down, uh, you know, late list this last summer to, to get on campus and, and really seemed to fall in love and, and really, you know, wanted to commit on the spot. And so, you know, that's always good. Uh, 6'1", so, you know, a little bit more size to her than, than with Eck, but, you know, both of them, as I said, give us, you know, a, a good one-two punch in this class at, at the hitting position. Um, you know, she, I think Felicia has a, a huge ceiling that we haven't even discovered how high that's going to be. Uh, you know, I think Eck's going to be a little more polished, and then Felicia's going to come in, and, you know, we'll need a little bit of training time and things, but, you know, she's, she's grown leaps and bounds, you know, everything I've seen and, and heard from this past high school season even, so... You know, one more club season to get under her belt as well. Um, and, uh, you know, sky's the limit. UTPA women's golf making a splash during the early signing period as the first recruit for new head coach Risa Alexander is Daniela Mendez, a senior at Laredo United High School who won the 29-5A district championship as a junior while also qualifying for the regional tournament. Mendez also finished in second place at the district tournament as a freshman and as a sophomore while qualifying for the regional tournament both times. In June, Mendez won the Starburst Junior Golf Classic in Waco, shooting a second round 75 and winning by seven strokes. Mendez then went on to defend her title at the Webb County Junior Championships in July, setting the record for lowest single round score with her second round three under 67. Mendez also played in the U.S. Kids World Tee Tournament, placing in the top 20. Off the course, Mendez is a member of the National Honor Society and founder of Junior Hands Across South Texas, a nonprofit organization that dedicates their time and efforts to raising money for underprivileged kids in the Laredo area. Coach Alexander out of town at the moment, but said in a press release that the program is excited to have Daniela join the program. Quote, she is an outstanding player and will add considerable depth. This is an exciting time for our team, end quote. UTPA men's and women's basketball also adding players for next year. We'll take a look at them next week. In the meantime, both basketball teams opened their seasons over the past week. Coming up on Broad Country, highlights from the basketball season openers. We pursue excellence in the classroom and strive to achieve our potential. We compete on the field with integrity, on the court with respect, and in the pool with distinction. 
We are strong leaders in our community and gain values from our biggest fans. We continue the legacy of commitment to our universities, to our coaches, to our teammates, and most importantly to you. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western Athletic Conference. The ball on the right wing goes for the tie. And he does it again! Nolan straight to the hoop. Ties the game! On with the three, with two, the desperation he goes in! Jack Bowler from half court! Bronx win! Bronx win! Get your Bronx basketball season tickets now by calling 665-2221 or logging on to utpabronx.com. This commercial is brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. The UTPA men's basketball team opened up the regular season on Friday at home against Wayland Baptist, the number 21 ranked team in the NAIA. A whole swath of players making their Bronx debuts, and they came up big. Opening minute of play, the ball comes to Dan Kamasa down low, and look at this move. Two to nothing Bronx. Jadari Josar in a big exhibition game, and the next time down the court, he begins the encore. Five to nothing Bronx. Ensuing possession, it's Josar again. Seven nothing Bronx. And then two minutes later, McDonald with the steal. He drives down the court and his first career shot goes in. The Bronx jumped out to a 9-0 lead. The Pioneers on the comeback. The Bronx lead is three. And then Everett Osborne hits a three. Bronx up 19-13. Start of the second half. Bronx down one. Sean Noriega playing in his first game in 23 months. And he buries the three. Move ahead. Game tied at 44. And then Josar with the bucket and the foul. He hits the free throw. Bronx up 47-44. One minute later. Andreas Bigham gets in on the action. He had a strong debut. Bronx up five. And then next time down the court, Josar slams it home. Bronx by seven. Pioneers get the next five to make it a two point game. But first Josar responds. And then Noriega. Bronx up seven. The Bronx went up by as many as 16 on this McDonald layup with about 10 minutes left. But three minutes later, the Pioneers are within nine when Noriega unloads with a hand in his face. Bronx go up 71-59, go on to win 88-80. Uh, it felt good. Um, it didn't go how, I mean, I wanted to obviously I'm a little rusty, um, but it, it's good. Uh, you know, the rust will shake off eventually. So it's good to get out there and play a little bit. I like the dichotomy of the two games that we've played preparing our team for the season because one team was an all double low post power team, okay? Then this team was a spread drive and kick team, okay? So we got to look at both of them and actually, you know, struggled a little bit defensively tonight, uh, especially in the second half. But uh, we had to go to the zone again to protect guys with foul trouble. So, uh, you know, I had Janari with three, Sean with early ones, and we just had to go to it just to try to, to slow it down a little bit and see if uh, we could keep the driving from stopping. But, uh, you know, overall good effort. Noriega finished with three triples en route to a 13-point performance. Joe Sar set career eyes in pretty much every category while notching his first double-double of 20 points and 13 rebounds. In all, five Bronx reached double figures while the team shot 51% from the field. I just want to do my job, um, get boards. Uh, it's the boys just, point source is coming from the rebounds mostly, I would say. Uh, I mean, I think that's what I got to do, just get enough points and get the rebounds. 13 rebounds again, you know, did an unbelievable job. I don't know how many points he had, about uh, what, uh, 20 points, seven for 12 from the field. He didn't even shoot the ball. Uh, he had two or three wide open threes and missed them, but he understood when to drive. He dropped off a couple layups and he just made a lot of, between he and Hines, they made a lot of things happen. And then Sean came on with a couple big shots that were, that were huge for us. UTPA women's basketball also starting the season this past weekend, opening up the Paul's Maggie Dixon Classic against New Mexico and picking up a huge 61-59 win over the Lobos. It was the Bronx' first win over a Mountain West school in nearly three years. The Bronx came out firing, going up by as many as 19. Shante Goff 
picked up right where she left off last year with 21 points, as did Caitlin Boyd with 12. How about Raquel Preston? Career high 12 points and a career high nine rebounds for the junior. The next day, the Bronx took on host an 18th rank to Paul and really gave the Blue Demons all they could handle in the first half. Opening play, it's Kaylin Boyd draining the three. Next time down the court, Shante Goff puts the Bronx up 5-0. DePaul comes back to tie it, but Brittany Bush responds with a layup, 7-5 Bronx. A few minutes later, DePaul is up 18-11, but the Bronx, undeterred. Bush hits the layup, and then Tonisha Walker for three. Bronx within two. And then next possession, Boyd ties the game. 25 seconds later, we're back to Walker. It's a 9-0 run, Bronx up 2018. DePaul responds with a little run of their own. Now it's 34-28 when Preston connects. Bronx within four, that's as close as they got. Bronx fall, 93-70. Goff again leading the Bronx, this time with 18 points, while hitting a career-high nine free throws and a career-high 11 attempts. Freshman Stephanie Onyeje with her first career points, pouring in nine on three of five shooting, including a couple of threes. The Bronx closed out the weekend against fifth-ranked Texas A&M, and they almost beat them. The Bronx led by as many as 12 in the first half and never trailed by more than nine, generally staying within a possession when they were behind in a 63-61 loss. Hilder Bjork Karchin's daughter had a great game, 10 points, nine rebounds. Tandria Nolan was superb in a starting role, career highs in points with 14 and assists with seven. Shante Goff continues to score in bunches with 13 points, en route to earning all tournament team and WAC Player of the Week honors. All in all, a great weekend for the Bronx. Played a very tough New Mexico team. Uh, came away with a 61-59 margin of victory. Uh, really enjoyed that game. And uh, we played a DePaul team ranked number 15 in the country and played them pretty much even for a majority of the time. And then uh, we finished it up on Sunday afternoon with a, a game against the number five ranked Texas A&M Aggies. And uh, we lost by a score of 63-61, led by 12 points in the first half, led by seven at the uh, halftime, and came back and really did some really good things in the second half. We just didn't get to the line enough. And just as basketball begins, UTPA Volleyball is headed for postseason play. Next on Brown Country, we preview the WAC Tournament. Did you play with crayons growing up? I know I did. You remember how those boxes came with 256 different colors? While entering the final weekend of WAC volleyball play, there were just as many different seating scenarios as crayons. The Bronx opened up their weekend road trip at first place Kansas City. The Bronx played well early in each of the first two sets, going up three to two in this Anjanae Janda kill, and six to five on this Alicia Watson kill in the first set. In the second set, the Bronx led 2-0, thanks in part to this set opening kill by Haley Durham, and then 12-11 on this Durham kill. But the Kangaroos show why they're the WAC regular season champions as they go on to sweep the Bronx. After a travel day, the Bronx closed out the season at Chicago State in style, sweeping the Cougars. Haley Durham led the way with 11 kills. Strong match for Corinne Acuff and De'Ara Reynolds, Acuff started and posted nine kills with three blocks, while Reynolds came up with nine kills and two blocks. So here's what the WAC tournament bracket looks like. The sixth seeded Bronx open up the WAC tournament against third seeded and host Bakersfield Thursday at seven. Should the Bronx win, they'll face off against second seeded and defending WAC tournament champion New Mexico State Friday at seven. Let's send it over to Romeo Villarreal with a full preview. The Bronx have their first conference tournament game this Thursday against host team Bakersfield. While the Bronx dropped both regular season games to the Roadrunners this year, they are confident they can string together three sets and put together a victory. We're just trying to go in and have a good mentality, have more energy. We're tweaking some things on the court, but other than that, we're just going to go in and play our game. We just have to come out, be really offensive, go at them, attack, play some good D. They have some good hitters, but nobody that's unstoppable. 
you know, they're, they're very talented. Uh, we know that they're going to set a lot of balls for their outside hitters. So, uh, you know, we've done a decent job against them the last two matches. And we've got to bring, you know, as much offense, if not more, than what they bring. Uh, I think at our place, first time around, we got a little tentative uh, mid-match, and that gave them the spark that they needed. Um, out at their place, we, we honestly didn't play very well. Uh, you know, credit to them, they, they brought it to us. With both teams having scouted each other quite thoroughly, Coach Yale is going to need some of his role players to step up for this game. You know, we really need the production from our outsides. Uh, Deere Reynolds, Anjane Janda, Kira Hill, uh, any of the three have the capability of, of going off. And, you know, I think we'll probably need all three of them to contribute at some point. Um, you know, Alicia Watson uh, is definitely a, a spark plug for us. You know, they'll key on her, they'll key on, on Haley Durham. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think they'll be able to find their own. For Bronx Country, this is Romeo Villadiel. UTPA Cross Country competing at the NCAA South Central Regional Championships, the women competing in the 6K and the men in the 10K. About 150 runners competing on each side. Jennifer Zapata paced the women's team with a time of 22.39.3, while Jose Juan Wells finished in the upper half of the men with a time of 31.43.1. Thank you phone calls went out to Bronx Athletic Fund donors last week as the UTPA baseball team took to the phones to speak to each donor personally. Remember, every donation to the Bronx Athletic Fund goes directly to student-athlete scholarships, and the cost to join is just $50 per year. Your support is greatly appreciated by our student-athletes. Well, it's important to give thanks to the people that have donated because obviously we need you know, f funding to have good equipment and to really be successful in what we do. So it's nice to give thanks to people that actually help contribute. Uh, we need all the fan support we can get, and the more we let them know how thankful we are for their donations and how thankful we are for their fan support, then I think that'll help out a lot. Personally, I got my call from Parker Gallegos. If you want to get a call next year and help us prepare our student athletes for excellence in life, visit BronkAthleticFund.com today to see how you can make a meaningful impact on the lives of student athletes. We pursue excellence in the classroom and strive to achieve our potential. We compete on the field with integrity, on the court with respect, and in the pool with distinction. We are strong leaders in our community and gain values from our biggest fans. We continue the legacy of commitment to our universities, to our coaches, to our teammates, and most importantly to you. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western Athletic Conference. The ball on the right wing goes for the tie. And he does it again! Nolan straight to the hoop, ties the game! All with the three, with two, the desperation he goes in! Jack Bowler from half court! Bronx win! Bronx win! Get your Bronx basketball season tickets now by calling 665-2221 or logging on to utpabronx.com. This commercial is brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. Busy week ahead for the Bronx. Women's basketball plays three home games in a span of four days with Texas A&M Kingsville, Concordia, and Eastern Michigan before visiting ninth-ranked Texas. Men's basketball plays host to Texas A&M Kingsville Saturday before hitting the road for a tournament at 25th-ranked Utah. And volleyball takes part in the WAC tournament Thursday through Saturday in Bakersfield. We want to thank you for stamping your passport in Bronx Country this week. Schedule another visit for next week. But until then, Go Bronx! excellence in the classroom and strive to achieve our potential. We compete on the field with integrity, on the court with respect, and in the pool with distinction. 
We are strong leaders in our community and gain values from our biggest fans. We continue the legacy of commitment to our universities, to our coaches, to our teammates, and most importantly to you. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western Athletic Conference. The ball on the right wing goes for the tie. And he does it again! Nolan straight to the hoop. Ties the game! All with the three, with two, the desperation he goes in! Jack Bowler from half court! Bronx win! Bronx win! Get your Bronx basketball season tickets now by calling 665-2221 or logging on to utpabronx.com. This commercial is brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics.